another super celebrity that we all know you're associated with uh, uh, has gone from being someone you idolize to someone you hang out with. I'm talking about <laughs> Miss Christina Aguilera. Oh, <laughs> she is just so incredible. And I wouldn't say that we hang out, but I have gotten to work with her quite a bit and mm -hmm. she's included me a lot in um, you know, the promo that she was doing all last year for her Liberation tour and for her Liberation album, which is, if y'all have not listened to the Liberation album, you are denying yourself the emotional depth and the lyrical geniusness and like the power vocals that like anyone that's a Christina Aguilera fan, that, I feel like that's what we've always wanted. Yeah. Um, you know, the vocals are so raw on that album and the songs are so sincere and so true and so touching. and. Uh, it's one of my favorite albums by her, so y'all stream uh, Liberation. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, I've just been so lucky that she has been so receptive of me ever since I got to meet her on season 10. And, um, you know, I got to uh, announce her at LA Pride. Yeah. Um, I got to perform with her at Mercedes Benz Fashion Week with mm -hmm. Sasha Velour and Miss Fame and all them. And, um, I got to go on stage with her in Caesar's Palace at the wow. Coliseum. Oh yeah, that was that was like a full circle moment. Cause you know I'm a Vegas girl, right? So I I never even dreamed I'd ever see what the backstage area of the Coliseum was like. Uh -huh. It was gorgeous, um, and uh, she just I just love her. She's such a legend. Now, is it true that the association with the two of you began because uh, a fashion blog mistook a picture of you for a picture <laughs> of her? Yes, so <laughs> when I was on season 10 and I got to meet her, she told me that um, her makeup artist, Etienne, uh, who is one of my favorite Insta uh, makeup artists that I follow on Instagram, he saw the news article and he was like, Christina, someone thinks that you're this drag, like this whole like country <laughs> thinks that you're this drag queen showing up to the Met Gala. <laughs> and she was like, what, who is this bitch? <laughs> That's like literally what she said. And so um, somehow just that random little twist and turn of fate got my idol to notice me and yeah. I guess the rest is history. I know, but you got to meet her on season 10 where they flew you in and she surprised you in the workroom. Well, the real gag was I was, um, no one told me that she was intentionally dressed up as me. Mm. I felt like, I was like, she looks a little Ferrer-esque, but, <laughs> but I look Christina-esque, so I was like, uh, nah, whatever. Everyone kept it from me, but I'm in a bar in West Hollywood. I was at Flaming Saddles watching uh -huh. the first episode <laughs> of season 10. I have no eyebrows on. I'm, I'm thinking I'm so incognito. <laughs> I feel like no one's recognized me. No one knows I'm there. And with Magnus Hastings and, um, all of a sudden, Rue goes, we're bringing back a queen. And I'm like, no one told me about this. Who are they bringing back? I'm like, what's going on? And then she said, pheromone. <laughs> and I said, oh. And Christina Aguilera walked around the corner and everyone in this entire bar turned and looked straight at me. Wow. <laughs> no one even noticed I was in there. <laughs> and everyone was looking at me and everyone was just cheering and it was, I, I mean, I almost had a heart attack right now. I moment. bet. I, I could not even wrap my mind around. And then she goes, oh, Rue, there's only one thing I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. Oh, that is incredible. Now, you were able to be in the Christina Dragulera contest on Watch What Happens Live. Oh, yes! I mean, you've gotten so much face time with your idol. There you are. That photo's homophobic, <laughs> <laughs> first of all. Um, Kixie, the girl in the middle, she's a San Diego queen, yeah. and I've worked with her a few times, and she is the biggest Christina Aguilera fan, and she actually has so many recreations of Christina's looks. And um, I remember after the season 10 thing happened, I had saw a Facebook post of hers that said, you know, God, I, you know, it's so awesome that these Rue girls are getting these opportunities to meet their idols and stuff, but like, I just hope one day maybe it could happen for me. And the producers of Watch What Happened called me. And I remembered this status, and this was like a year ago or so. Mm -hmm. And the producers called me and they're like, is there any other drag queens you can think of that we could like fill in a slot with? And I was like, can we do this girl? And they're like, we really want a Rue girl. And I was like, oh my God, no, she is the biggest Christina fan. I mean, the most, she has every look. Like, just bring her on. She needs to meet her idol. It would be everything, like, please. And they were like, okay, send us some pics and we'll see. 
sent him the pics, and they were like, okay, yeah, bring her. And then they were like, can you can she bring a look for Gia? <laughs> <laughs> so the Lady Marmalade is actually Kixie's look. Oh, wow. And then we got there, and we found out that it was a contest, and I was like, no! I, I was like, oh my God, please don't let me win, because I've had enough like of those heart-to-hearts. <laughs> I really just wanted Kixie to have a moment. Right. And Christina lived for her dirty, mm-hmm. and I got to see her like have a sash put on her by Christina, oh. and she gave her a bouquet of flowers and a crown, and I was just like, oh my God! It was one of the most special things to get to see someone that loves Christina as much as I do get to have that moment without, you know, sometimes us Rue girls get a lot of opportunities that sometimes we don't even know what to do with them. And uh, there's so many girls that are also worthy of those things. So it was really special to help her out with that. That's beautiful. I love it. And you guys both had a great time and you made her dream come true. She actually sent me and Chad a bouquet of flowers for our first show. All right. Yes, we love you, Kixie. Yeah. Y'all follow Kixie. She's amazing. She's yeah. really a queen to watch. She does so many characters. Um, she has every Christina look. She does every pop star. I mean, she her she probably has a bigger drag room than I do. Wow. All right, Kixie Vixen Styles. Get it, girl. <laughs> Farrah, you're one of the most followed queens on social media. Am I really? Yes, honey. Fears. Now, do you think any of the girls were intimidated by that at the beginning of All Stars? Do you, you have such a yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding, but like, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, we want to see how well you know some of the biggest girls from the race. Oh, fears. In a segment we like to call, do you follow her? Oh, fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Farrah, we're going to show you some social media queens, and you're going to have to tell us which one has the larger social media following. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yes, Challenge okay. accepted. All right, let us begin. Okay, who has a bigger social media following? Is it Sasha Valor or Valentina? Valentina? I think it's going to be Sasha Valor for sure. And you're right, it is Sasha Valar. 1.5 million, and Valentina has 1.3 million. So pretty close. And they are two very extremely fierce queens, so I think they so deserve that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you've ever seen any of them perform or them live, there's everything. I say, yeah, I I did a little interview with Valentina after her one-woman show, and she did great. How was that? Was it good? It was really good. I, I just adore her. I think she's so fun and so sweet, and, you know, I think we can chalk up the whole season nine drama to just misunderstandings and miscommunications and stuff because at the end of the day, like, we had such a bond and we always will. So yeah. I'm just so happy for her. And you got to work with Sasha Velour. Oh, oh yeah. I've, I, yeah. I've also been to her gorgeous house in Brooklyn. Oh, really? What is her house like? It's on People People Magazine did a whole feature on it. It's, Girl, times have changed when your drag home is on People Magazine. She better go. Oh, yes. She... Um, the last time I went to her house, she let me go in her drag basement and try on like the alien costume. Uh, amazing. Yes. Oh my God. If you have not lived life till you've gone into Sasha Velour's drag closet, it is gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Who has a bigger following? Is it Coco Montrese or Alyssa Edwards? Y'all are shady for this one. Y'all are so shady. Um, Coco Montrese, obviously. Mm, well, it's just a couple off. Coco Montrese has no, nothing to be ashamed of, 140,000 followers. But, sweetie, Miss Alyssa Edwards, 1.4 million. <laughs> you know, I got to bond a little bit with Alyssa on the Christmas tour this year. And we had this, like, we came up with this thing. So, like, when you're talking about someone's look, you go, is it doll worthy or is it dog park <laughs> <laughs> doll worthy or dog park next time you come on the show we're gonna have to do that little that game with one you. for sure <laughs> all right michelle visage or lady bunny oh we know it's michelle <laughs> you're right 1.1 million for michelle and lady bunny with a totally respectable 221,000. she deserves way more yes agreed lady bunny is so legendary do you know that back in the day she used to write these little celebrity reads in star magazine mm-hmm. and i used to read those as a kid and see her like little photo in the circle with this <laughs> big hair and i was like who is 
it's that bitch. <laughs> and fast forward, the season nine um, premiere party in New York City. Me and her were in the bathroom smoking cigs together. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's iconic. I live for her. She is amazing. All right, and last but not least, the shady staff on this one. RuPaul or Plastique Tiara? Stop it. Stop it. This can't be a real one. <laughs> RuPaul. <laughs> yes. It'll always be RuPaul. I don't yes, care how fishy yes. you Yes, yes. Of are. course, RuPaul has three million, but Plastique zooming on up there with one million followers on Instagram. Have you gotten to hang out with Plastique? I've met her a couple of times throughout my career because uh, she's kind of always been like big on social media. Yeah. So I met her at DragCon one time, um, and I saw her, and I was like. You're too pretty, bitch. Mm. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to break your legs. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from you, that's a big compliment. Oh, she is so beautiful. It's unreal. It's not fair. It's like I mean, it's just like it will. Make, it can make the most beautiful person insecure seeing her. <laughs> um, but uh, I haven't really. I haven't really talked to her in a really long time. But sometimes we. Sometimes we go back and forth in the Instagram stories and reply to each other. She's sweet. I like her. Were you surprised to see her leave relatively early? I wasn't because basically with this whole season, it's been a whole season of not nothing making sense, apparently, mm, according agreed. to the fan base. I haven't seen the episodes, <laughs> yes. but like it seems like nothing was a surprise mm. except the fact that people were going home oh, right. when they shouldn't have been. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll have to watch the actual episode though that she goes home on before I can like really decide. But because you know, they'll they'll send you home for one tiny little thing you do wrong, even though you've been killing it the whole time. That's true. Or they'll send you home just because you're being boring. Uh huh. I mean, I can't confirm that, but sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, was she a little too boring, you guys? Did y'all uh -huh. do that? <laughs> mm, that sounds about right. Well, that has been. Do you follow all? <laughs> and yes, I follow all of them. <laughs> good, good. Hello, children. To see part three of this interview, click here. To see more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, bitch! Hey! 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 <laughs>